the Cicada Chopper and I'm back with another video. This one is going to be my Ipsy versus Birchbox uh, kind of video. Um, I wish I had like explosions for that or something, but I don't. Um, we're running a low budget over here, so. Um, this one's Birchbox was actually my first Birchbox ever, so um, I'm kind of going to be a little bit more gentle with the way that I um, kind of I now I can't think of the word critique there we go I just have to stare at the box long enough um, I just need to be careful with critiques for this because it is my first month where I've had ipsy since last August so I have a much better formed opinion for ipsy than I do birch box um, so yeah these are the two um, boxes this is birch box and this is ipsy I think they're both equally adorable. Um, this one's really, really cute for a little box, and I can just put a bunch of crap in it, which just what I need, another crap holder. I mean, I'm trying to get my life organized, but this is not going to help. Anyways, rambling. Um, and then the Ipsy is really, 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 really cute. Um, so yeah, they're both adorable this year, this year, this month. Um, so let's get started. Maybe we should do... I'm gonna do Birchbox first, since Birchbox is newer. Um, I'm gonna be a little bit better with it. Um, if you did not see my Birchbox on op on opening unboxing uh, video, go ahead and check that out. I'll, I'll link it down below. So I'm just gonna kind of go through this really quick, um, just kind of giving a basic summary of the box. Um, so first, for presentation of the box, really really cute. Uh, love the box. Super cute. Can use it for other things. Very durable. Um, the box that came in was this little box. It's cute how they matched. Um, then you open it up. Very cute presentation. Comes with one of those little cardboard cards showing you what you've got in your box and how much each one is worth. And then another little coupon thing. And then you open up the cute little tissue paper. And there's more stuff in there. Um, the only thing I have to say about Birchbox that I'm not exactly happy with is um, it asks you in the quiz what you prefer more of. Um, if you prefer cosmetics, hair, um, hair treatments, if you prefer um, face oils and cleansers and such. Um, and it asks you, like, do you like fragrances? What, what do you like? And uh, they'll try to cater to you. Through, through the box, so I'm like, okay, maybe maybe it'll be a little bit better than most so the, I can't even speak again, um, better than most subscription boxes, but I find that isn't exactly the case. Um, they tried, but it's, it's not exactly the case um, with this guy. I told them that I really prefer cosmetics versus anything else, and um, that I'm not big on perfumes, I'm not big on um, hair treatments, well, hair treatments are fine, but like hairsprays and crap like that, because I don't use it much. I mean, this is natural hair right here, not done anything to it, so this is usually how I have it. So I figured, why do I need all that stuff that I'm never gonna use? Um, so this box um, came with five items. I know it only looks like four, but in this little pill box, there are two items, um, and the items, just to briefly go through them, are the Nao Bay Natural and organic oxygenating cream moisturizer, um, which is a face product, and then a Juice Beauty um, organic solution stem cellular repair CC cream with SPF 30, um, which is more not really face care, but like makeup is what I would consider a CC cream. Uh, and then this number four um, super comb prep and protect spray. Um, yeah, that was more hair care. So you kind of got a little bit of everything in this box. And then in here, let's open this up, which is really cute that it matches. Um, and here we have two samples, um, the first of which I was not happy about, which is a perfume sample. And this one is Sincerely by Harvey Prince. Um, and it comes with a decent sized sample right there. Uh, not really good smell, and I, I already don't like perfume, so that, that already made me angry, and then this smell was just horrible. It was nothing like what I said I liked in scents, so birch box, really. And then the last thing I got was a cosmetics um, 
item, which I was super excited about because I wanted to try this and I've heard about it. Um, and like I said, wanted to try it. Um, this is the Coastal Sense Revealed 3 uh, palette sample and it's just a little quad of uh, colors. And this one is called Desert Bloom. Let me see. If I can open it. I just love the little packaging. I think I'm going to keep it in the packaging. It's super cute. Um, so you get four colors, which is like a gold, brown, purple, and a wine red-ish color. Um, and so you guys can see them. They're really pretty. The gold is shimmery. Um, the others are more matte. Um, they're very, very silky when you touch them. And they have a very good color payoff, um, except for maybe the light purple. The light purple is a little tough to get color payoff with your finger. Maybe different with a brush, but... I think it's really cute and it's a great way to sample um, the different kind of eyeshadows they have like shimmery matte and uh, such so I was super excited about that um, so this is one of the products I absolutely love um, and perfume can't stand um, I tried to see if my brother wanted it just because it smells like a, a cologne gone bad and he even said no, and he usually wears whatever the heck he wants, so yeah, that wasn't good. Um, I think this little guy is fine, the little Juice Beauty CC cream, but the only problem is it smells really, 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 really herbally, and it's a little too much. It gives you kind of a headache if you use it um, all over your face, um, so I mean, but the nice thing is they did send me the right color which I cannot say about 100% of the time for Ipsy, because uh, sometimes Ipsy sends me the right color, sometimes they send me the wrong color. Um, so yeah, this one sent me the right shade, which I am happy about, just not happy about the scent. And the sample, let me see if I can open it. It's absolutely tiny for a CC cream, like itty bitty, um, which I'm not very happy about, but I'll take it, I guess. Let's take what you pay for. Um, and then this Nail Bay um, face wash, um, I'm super, super excited about. Um, well, it's not a face wash, it's a moisturizer. So I'm super excited to try that. It smells really good, um, and it's a decent sized sample. So let me put everything back. All right, so overall, my Birch Box was in. I'd probably give it out of five stars a three out of five. Out of a ten star, I'd probably give it mm, maybe like a five. Maybe that's being generous, just because of the box and the cute little eyeshadow quad. Maybe maybe five and a half. I don't know, um, but it's okay. I mean, it's the first month. Um, I'm not gonna base my entire opinion of Birchbox on this box, so um, just let you guys know this box was not exactly my favorite but the ipsy was amazing this month and i wish they would just continue this wonderful streak of awesome bags um so this one says contents my life and this is by breakups to makeup which i've seen these before in store i think at sephora um and they're just really cute and it's very durable and the inside is a bright red um, which is really nice and it's kind of like an umbrella kind of material so you can wipe everything out if you get makeup in there all messed up and such. Um, so this one also came with five items however these items um, being sample sizes are actually larger or bigger than um, Birchbox samples which is surprising but Birchbox is technically high-end and Ipsy is drugstore and a little bit of high-end so I mean, you get what you pay for when you get the high-end items that are like this big, and then you get better drugstore items for this, but I mean, you can't really compare it too much, um, except for the price, because they both are $10 uh, a month. So the first thing you get is, well, the first thing I got was a Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner in black, well, ebony, whatever you want to call it, and it's very, very smooth. Uh, great black color. Um, it's nice, but I don't use gel liners that much because I have oily eyelids, so I'm going to have to find a way to keep this from running. That way I can try it out. Um, but it's a nice formula if you don't have oily eyelids. The next thing I got was a um, 
Peter Lamas Naturals Detoxifying Citrus Sea Facial Cleanser for all skin types, deep cleanses, detoxifies, intensive antioxidant protection, and it maintains moisture. Um, and it's a decent size. I already opened this up to smell it, and it is faint. Uh, it has a faint scent of citrus, very, very faint, but it's very, very clean smelling. So I really, really like this guy. It smells really good. And you always need facial cleansers, so it's a plus that it's something you'll use. Another thing I got in there was the Bear Republic Natural Mineral Sunscreen um, for your face, and it's SPF 30. It's a cute little bottle, um, and I first, I'm not crazy about sunscreen like this for the face. I usually just rely on SPF products like uh, my face powder and such. Um, but this stuff is actually surprisingly good. Um, I put some on my fingers earlier in my Ipsy unbagging video, and it's not wet, it's not um, oily or anything, and it smells like coconut, which is really good, because usually these smell very chemically and nasty. And another nice thing is this is completely organic, and it is uh, cruelty-free, which is amazing, and it's huge in my book. So like this great sample um you don't need too too much of this to cover your face so it'll last me quite a bit and what's nice is you can buy it at target so if you really do like it go find it at target you, you're uh, excuse me you're set so next item is actually one of my favorite items from the bag um and this is actually the pixie by petra um beauty bronzer in summertime which the name is actually perfect for us going into summer, um, and it's a really pretty cool uh, gray tone brown. Um, let me see. And I love it. It's perfect because I have not found a bronzer this color, um, this shade, for someone as pale as me. And what's nice is that since it's gray toned, it'll look better on my whiter face. Um, so I'm super excited about that, and it smells pretty good. Um, and it feels very good when you put it on your hand or your face for that matter. So it's a great size as well, so I'll get a lot of use out of it. Moving on. Last item was a little bit more confusing for me, which I know some most or some of you guys probably won't find this confusing, but I did because it came with two samples in one, and I'm not sure if you're supposed to use them together or separately or what. So um, this one's Urban Decay Revolution High Color Lip Gloss with the 24-7 um, uh, Glide On Lip Pencil in Ozone, which is actually supposed to be a multi-purpose primer pencil. Um, that confused me. I'm like, are you supposed to use it with lip gloss? Are you supposed to use it with lipstick? What? Um, so yeah, this is the cute little eye, or eye. The eye ones look just like this, so it's confusing me. Um, the lip, the 24-hour uh, glide on lip pencil in ozone so it's like a wax pencil is how it reminds me or what it reminds me of and it has absolutely no color when you swatch it which is nice so it won't mess with like the lip color you are putting on on top of it um, but I'm just not sure um, I'm not sure if you're supposed to use it with lip gloss or lipstick or what um, I assume they want you to use it with their lip gloss that they sent you the cute little sample sizes but I'm not sure. So they sent you these two little, um, I don't know what you call those, little pods of lipstick or lip gloss and Fail Bait and Bittersweet. And they said it says they're two of their favorite shades. However, the purple will not work on my lips. Um, I look kind of creepy, alienish. Um, but I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. And this pink, I think, will work better. It's kind of similar to what I'm wearing now. So I'll definitely try that out. Um, yeah, and I, the only thing I don't like about them being in this little pod thing is that you have to use a lip brush to get it out. And I personally do not own a lip brush because I just, when applying lipstick and lip glosses, I, push, I just put it straight on and then uh, wipe away the excess. So, I, I don't know. I mean, it's a good idea and they're really good about... Um, advertising all their products, their lip products on here, like the lip gloss, um, the primer pencil, and even their lipsticks on the back, which they didn't send you a sample of, um, but I already have one from uh, Sephora and Ulta, 
and it was actually in the color Jilted, and it's beautiful color, um, great formula, all sorts of stuff. So if you haven't tried the lipsticks out, it tells you all about them, um, so you can actually look them up yourself. All right, oops, drop the bag. So that was all that was in my Ipsy bag, which is quite a few samples, and if you think about it, this last one was two samples in one, um, so it's a great deal. I personally am still biased um, in my opinion of Ipsy Birch's uh, Birch Box because I've been doing Ipsy a lot longer, almost a year now. Um, and I don't know. I just feel like Ipsy gives more cosmetic, um, like makeup types of uh, items, which I personally use more of than the face or the hair or the skin um, things. And I like how Ipsy never sends you perfume samples. That's another thing I like. But Birchbox, you guys have this adorable little box. And everything looks so beautiful when you open it up. I just don't want to even unwrap it. But the nice thing is if you really have a low budget and you want to try out some items that are higher, um, higher in value and uh, are more high-end products, then Birchbox would probably be better for you. But if you're okay with getting drugstore items and some high-end items, then Ipsy's for you. So I'll leave the opinion of who won this Ipsy versus uh, Birchbox battle up to you. But to me, I would personally choose Ipsy, but I cannot completely form an opinion on Birchbox until I've tried at least two more boxes. I'll give myself three boxes just to kind of see if I really like Birchbox or not. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry it was a little bit longer, but I was just kind of trying to quickly go through um, the content, context, or contents, there you go, contents of both boxes or bags um, to see what you guys like best. Um, if you want a more detailed kind of video showing um, all the products and mice watching them and seeing if I really enjoyed them, um, when I first open them. I will link my videos down below, both the birch box opening and the Ipsy unbagging underneath this video. Um, or even, no, I was going to say, or I'll put them right here and right here, but it, it's just easier to put the links down there for you and for me. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Um, I will be getting another birch box next month um just so i can compare it again to ipsy um i will never stop <laughs> getting ipsy because i love them so much so um you'll keep seeing those and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed i will see you all in my next video thanks bye